Alright guys, we are headed to Mer Academy and we're so excited. Are you guys excited? Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Where are we going? We're going to Mer. Yeah, it's called Mer Academy. Huh. Mer Academy. Like Mermaid Academy, yeah. Um, our pap pap, grandpa. Uh, found out about this the other day from the owner or the lady that's running it and so he thought that it would be a good fit for us since we love mermaids obviously so I'm gonna try and vlog a little bit from the Mer Academy if possible but I'm not sure if there's gonna be any rules about that or um, I know that I can't really put other people's kids in the vlogs and um, YouTube has changed up the rules a lot regarding kids in videos and videos about kids and then there's all these new features like if there's a kid in the video uh, there's no commenting allowed on the videos which kind of bums me out because I don't No. yeah no. Yeah, I promise if there's a kid in the video you have to select yes it's made for kids and then the comments are automatically turned off which is kind of cool so that the bad people out there can't um, it's kind of cool because the bad people out there can't go in the comments and say, um, this kid is did 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 and be mean, but it's also kind of bad because our fans can't talk to us in our video comments anymore because the comments aren't allowed. Only our fans are nice. I know, but that's, that's why I said it bums me out a little bit. Even our followers and subscribers can't comment. Nobody can comment on a video that's got a kid in it now. So if you guys are if you guys are a kid-based channel or I don't know if you um, know how it works, could you drop a comment and let me know what you think about it or if there's a way around it? Because <laughs> I know that there are YouTube stories and feeds now supposedly. I keep seeing people talk about and I've seen a couple stories myself from other creators, but I want I think that it's only the big time creators and channels that can do stories and post pictures and things like that. At least I haven't, I haven't been able to figure out how to do that. So if I'm just missing something, I would love to know otherwise. So let me know what you think below. Also, you guys, this lip color, I'm in love. Like, it's like nude, but it turns like magenta kind of pink a little bit, just a touch of pink though and it's more I don't know I'm loving it I'm obsessed with it um, it's very glossy and perfect and pretty what baby I turn the music up okay tell your fans bye bye, and bye guys we'll see you at Mercadomy, Academy hopefully bye, fingers crossed bye bye so guys what did you think about mermaid school like Quilla you like it yeah Guys, I'm going to drop some pictures and show you how big their smiles were, but they were like this the whole time. Did you have fun? What did you learn how to do today, Quilla? Put your legs together and swim like this. Huh? And then put our face in the water. Do it. What did she have you do? Like that? Quilla, what was it? Yeah, that was it. Yep. So that's what we learned in mermaid school today. How how, how good was it at, as, out of 10? Can you give it a number out of 10? There's one is really bad and 10 is just the best thing ever. What would it be close to? An eight out of 10. That's pretty good. I will drop the Mer Academy information in the, uh, the, 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 the description box below. Um, they are on the, the kids might be on the news tomorrow morning on Fox 5 at 6 a.m., 12 a.m., something else. Uh, but mostly we're excited because they do a lot of social media posting and they're going to be tagging us and we can tag them. So, it's very excited. You guys excited? Mm -hmm. Yay, Mermaid School! And Mommy was in heaven because I got to get in the water too. And it was, what did Mommy get to do? I got to help you guys swim. Yes, that was fun. I have been begging my husband to do <laughs> I found this really expensive, really exclusive uh, private swim coach that they could have gone to in the month of June, I think it was. 
and I really, really wanted them to do it. I found it at the end of, end of May, and the spots were almost full, and I tried so hard to get their dad to do it, but he just, it was too much money, even though he wanted to buy a pool. I was like, we're not buying a pool because the kids don't know how to swim. <laughs> um, don't, I mean, don't get me wrong. We've had like those little inflatable four foot, just plastic pools. We have literally bought one of those every summer and they're so impossible to keep clean when you're only one person and you're trying to clean it for six other people all the time. Yeah, it's impossible to keep it clean. So we uh, just end up throwing them away at the end of the year, which is so wasteful so bad for the environment and I just can't I couldn't I was like if you get another pool this summer I'm leaving I'm out <laughs> I can't do it so we don't have a pool in the backyard we are we, he was considering getting like a blow up you know some kind of blow up slide or something and again it's just a lot of work I don't know so we are going to be but we are going to be doing a lot of going to state parks doing some camping, doing some hiking, seeing some waterfalls. There are <gasps> horse! See a horsey? Yeah, we, there are like 45 or something waterfalls in the state of Tennessee. And we, how many waterfalls have you guys seen in Tennessee so far? Just one? Ten. You have not seen ten? Yeah. No, I think I, I was on with videos. you. Oh, on videos, yes. But I'm talking about seen in person. I think there's only one. So. When? Never mind. Okay. <laughs> but we haven't seen many of the waterfalls. So we are going to make it our mission this summer to see as many waterfalls as possible, too. So wish us luck because we got a lot of miles to put on the van, and the van is currently not very happy. Oh, and I lost a nail. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning into this channel. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button so you can see our content every Tuesday and Saturdays if we're able to post something. We are here for you every day though on social media. So look for us as Mermaid Mama Designs on Facebook. And that's all for Mermaid Mama Designs this week. We'll see you guys on Tuesday. Thanks for watching and have a great day.